Okay guys, hey, welcome back here to Old Town Garage. If you remember, we've been doing a little 56 Chevy pickup for Norm. Now this was just a clean up. This is not like build it, show queen, trailer queen, any of that. It was just take care of whatever rust we saw going on, which was above the headlights and the lower fender sections and the cab corners. That's all we really did. We did that and uh, Dave went through it. He machined the truck out. And what I mean by machining it, like I've told you guys a dozen times, we didn't block this truck by hand or any of that. We just we just got it as straight as we could with the palm sander. Uh, that's what the customer's budget allowed. That was all he was after. So here it is, it's all done. We painted it back the original tartan turquoise with the cameo white. So we'll give you guys a good look at it. Now the customer does have the chrome for the front fenders, for the hood, and all four hubcaps at home. Um, I, would, I wish he would have brought them out to me so I could have put them on, but he said he wanted to do something. And he's going to do the wood in the box too, so anyway, um, well at least I got to put the rest of it together. So there you go, take a look and see what you think. We went back with the original mirrors, painted those to match everything else. He's got the spare tire he's going to be putting on there. We made sure that when we put it together, I made sure if you look inside the box, originally he just had bolts in here, normal bolts like you, you know, like whatever you'd find anywhere. I went and got the proper stove head bolts that are stainless and put those in for him. There's a couple little things that just had to do properly. You know, there's little extra stuff that we did that he wasn't expecting. His tail lights were all rusted. We cleaned them up and just sprayed them satin black, the same as his hinges or his uh, chains here for his tailgate. Same as a spare tire holder, it was all rusted. He said, don't worry about that stuff, just leave it, just bolt it on the way it is. Like, I couldn't believe he wanted to do that, but you know, you couldn't let it go out like that. You know, little things like that, I just kind of do them in our spare time on my after hours. I don't charge the guy because he didn't want me to do them. And I just couldn't have it leave here with that on there. So anyway, that's what we do here. We try and give people, there's always a few extras for giveaway. The rims were quite rusty when it came in. Um, they're still not the greatest. There's, there's quite a few rust marks in there, but I cleaned them up the best I could with some SOS. I gave them a good coat of wax, so hopefully that'll hold on to them. Now the exhaust, he's got the exhaust coming out here. He is, as soon as it leaves here, he's actually taking it down. He's getting brand new tailpipes put out the back. So the exhaust will be gone. We also put the nice stainless bolts in here. The owner did, did, did buy new door handles. He wanted new door handles, so actually I couldn't believe he actually bought those. We did put a brand new windshield and a windshield seal in it. But um, at the end of the day, it turned out really nice. This is a, this is a nice truck that you can be proud of. You can, you can drive this truck around anywhere. If you want to roll into a car show, like I always say on my videos, you can roll into a car show. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It isn't a twenty or $30,000 build here, you know. It's just a nice cleanup um, that you can cruise around in and have fun. That's all the guy wanted. He went to several other shops locally in town, and, and you know, they didn't want to, they either didn't want to do the truck, or if they did want to do it, they wanted to rip it right down to the bare nothing. And, uh, and, and you know, he, did, he didn't want that. So, unfortunately, uh, you've got to make sure, like I always tell you guys, make sure at the end of the day you get the customer to sign off that you didn't strip it to bare metal, so you don't know, because we didn't do anything at the doors, you don't know later in life if they're going to start to bubble or nothing, you don't know what's underneath there. He didn't want that, so you just make sure he signs off on it. If you do, you cover your ass, he's happy, and uh, everyone's happy at the end of the day. So anyway, okay guys, well thanks for staying tuned. We'll give you a few shots of the truck, and that's it. It's always a good time at all time.